Hi guys, it's Michelle here and I wanted to share another album that I just finished. Um, I used the Graphic 45 Portrait of a Lady, which I know it's been out for a little while. And um, I saw it in my stash and decided it was time to make something with it. It's a big album. It's 8.5 by 11 on the cover and the pages are 8 by 10 and a half. So I use the 12 by 12 uh, gra the portrait of a lady, sorry, the 12 by 12 patterns and then the 8 by 8 pad all in here. I have very little scraps left over so I use quite a bit. On the front cover, of course I use the paper from the collection and then I had this sticker that I picked up from Michaels. It's a recollection sticker. And then I put some pretty f uh, feathers around the edge um, going by the feather that's in her hat and then a pretty flower that I thought with, went with it. I don't have a clasp on the album. Um, it closes or uh, and is open or closes good on its own. Alright, I do not have a lot of embellishments on this one. There's a lot of fold outs and um, the few embellishments I have are either the chipboard pieces or some metal embellishments. And uh, we'll go through starting with the inside cover page. And I have another one of the stickers in the oval shape. It came two squares, two different packs. One was two squares and one was two ovals. So I have the oval here, a little chipboard, chipboard piece, and then uh, Tim Holtz uh, resin rose on there. This one has a magnet closure and it flips down. And I have one of the cut aparts here. Then it is held down with a magnet and it flips up. And here is one of the metal pieces. I would actually picked out, come here, I would actually picked out the um, die cut, I used the Spellbinders die, and then I came across these little metal filigrees that I had, and I left them all open on one edge so you could stick a photo underneath, so it worked out perfectly that it was the exact shape of the die that I had chosen. On here we have a little magnet with the swing tab and then it opens on both sides. Then I have a little swing tab here and then this folds up also for more room for photos. On the first page in the album, I have two waterfalls going down with a little metal embellishment with another Tim Holtz rose. And each one of these flips up. And I have two sides here. Then these fold out. We have room for photos here, and room for photos here, and lots of places for pictures there. Our next page, we have one of the chipboard pieces, and I have a little magnet on this side underneath it, keeping it closed. And then I put those two little filigrees behind it, and this side folds out. And then here again, this one's left open so you could slide a photo under there. And then I have another metal embellishment here. This one flips up. Another embellishment. And then this one flips down. All right, on our next page, we have a flip Oops, that wasn't supposed to come out. We have a flip out to the left. 
and then the swing tab and then this piece over here I have two smaller pieces we have a magnet that holds this one in place and then this one flips up and then this one flips down for some smaller photos and then this page flips over for room photos here and then large photos here on our next page I have well hold on this one kind of came undone let's go like that um, I have a little magnet set in the paper under this side and it adheres to this little filigree metal embellishment and it holds that in place and then I just have a little ribbon and this flips up and then this one flips down and then this one also flips up and then I have a little pocket with a couple of little cutouts tucked inside on this side here I have another metal embellishment and I put one of the uh, two four pieces on top of it and it has a magnetic closure and it flips to the sides and we have a little swing tab here and then this one flips up <clears throat> all right on our next page we have a chipboard piece here and that folds over to the left and then this page folds out and then also this page folds out. Lots of room for your pictures. Alright, our next page we have more of the little filigree metal embellishments. You can tuck pictures under either one of them. And we have a little swing tab here with the chipboard piece. And then I have another chipboard piece here and it folds over with a little pocket that has a couple of the cut parts and then also pages here and it looks like one of my little things oh he goes right there I'll have to glue that one back in all right on this page we have a little pocket that's holding a couple of the small cut aparts. I think this is from the 8x8 page. Then we have a swing tab here. And then this folds up. I have another little metal piece there. Then this side folds out. And you have rooms for photos here. And then this whole page pulls up, and you have lots and lots of rooms for photo through here. All right, on our next page, on this little ones, I left the corners of them open and tucked in a couple of little cut aparts from the 8x8 collection. I have another one of the chipboard pieces with a magnet underneath to hold that down. So this flips out, and then this flips out, and then this flips to the right, and then I have one more that flips up. On our next page, here's another one of the um, sticker portrait frames, the smaller one. Then this folds down, a little filigree to tuck a picture under. 
Then I have another one that fill, folds down. And then you have this whole page for photos. All right, our next two pages. I, I know I have a lot of large pages, but I did leave these completely. Let me move this so y'all can see. The only thing I added was two of the cut parts I put in the center here and left the edges open to where you can tuck photos behind here or you could glue them, glue them down, whichever you wish. And our next page, our second to last page, we have a little, little um, chipboard piece. This flips up and actually the whole thing comes out. This is a pocket here and then you have room for photos. This one is just the little embellishment. Let's see. It flips up. And then you have rooms for photo here. And on our last page, we have um, the larger oval picture uh, sticker and with the cut piece inside we have another embellishment here with a pocket a couple of the cut aparts and then this pocket page folds up and we have another little pocket with more cut aparts and then this page opens like so and then, of course, the back and the edges I also left plain. So that is my Portrait of a Lady album. I hope that y'all enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment below. Um, and if you would share my video, I'd appreciate it. Um, I'm about to work on... Uh, starting another one but I think I'm gonna go back to the fabric albums and I'm probably gonna do a full tutorial on that one with it but I hadn't decided yet what paper I want to use I'll use something that's more up-to-date than this but if y'all have any suggestions or requests please just let me know thanks guys y'all have a good night